And that's it for us. Thanks for watching KCAL News Mornings at 9. The 10 at 10 starts right now. The Dodgers' Shohei Otani near the center of a gambling scandal. His interpreter now facing charges for theft. How this could impact the superstar and his team. And it's been one year since LAUSD schools were shut down for three days because of a strike. And to mark the occasion, members were out this morning with the picket. And can lawmakers avoid a partial government shutdown that's less than 48 hours away? What's included in their latest proposed funding bill? This is KCAL News Mornings. Hello and welcome to the 10 at 10. I'm Amy Johnson. Here are some of the other stories that we're tracking for you this Thursday, March 21st. Story number five, artificial intelligence, real concerns. We're gonna take a look at how some of the most realistic AI videos are made and why this could pose a new set of dangers. Then story number six, families in limbo. Five Inglewood schools just got word they're closing their doors for good. And then story number 10, are you feeling lucky? It's time to put that feeling to the test. We'll add up the massive jackpots up for grabs. But first, we want to check in with meteorologist Alex Biston. She's joining us now with your next weather forecast. I hope we're feeling lucky in the weather department, Alex. <laughs> yes, uh, and it really depends on how you look at it, right? I think so. I mean, it's going to be a beautiful day already starting off a little bit gray as we are seeing the clouds, not just along the coastline, but into some of our valley communities as well. Take a look at our visibility map here. So visibility down to about two to three miles in areas like Pasadena and Van Nuys. So we are seeing the low clouds. We're seeing the fog, but by this afternoon, it is about the sunshine. Temperatures today will be near average, so we'll feel 60s at the coastline, low 70s downtown, mid 70s in the valleys today, 54 degrees up into the mountain communities. We are dry today. We are dry tomorrow. Tracking rain chances, especially as we head into Saturday. Generally, we're looking at light rain. Rain chances continue into Sunday. We dry out by the middle of the week. We'll talk about the timing of this next system. We're we'll talk about how much rain we could see. That's all coming up in your extended next weather forecast. Amy, back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Alex. We are following breaking news this morning. Detectives are at the scene of a deadly shooting between police and a wanted robbery suspect. Assignment manager Mark Liu live at the desk with the details for us. Mark. Uh, Amy, we've been waiting for these details all morning. A huge amount of information about this incident was just revealed in a news conference at the scene. Detective Megan Aguilar from LAPD headquarters arrived and explained this started with an arrest warrant for an armed and dangerous robbery suspect and ended with gunfire where that suspect ended up dying at the hospital. Our breaking news crew has been at the scene all morning. This is some video. Detective Aguilar says this entire incident started shortly before five this morning near the intersection of Reseda and Arminta in the Reseda area. Detectives and SWAT team members were attempting to serve a high risk arrest warrant on a known armed and dangerous robbery suspect here. That man was wanted for what detectives say is a series of quote, significant robberies throughout the region. Now, as officers were surveilling the suspect's home, that man came out armed with a rifle, according to police. He confronted officers, refused to obey commands or comply, and that's when officers fired. That suspect was struck by gunfire. L.A. City Fire Paramedics rushed that sus suspect to a nearby hospital, but he later died there. He's described as a man in his mid to late 30s. No officers or bystanders were injured. But there's a very large presence of investigators here, many of them robbery homicide detectives. They say that rifle the suspect used is still at the scene. That's going to be collected as evidence. It doesn't appear that it was fired, but that will be part of their investigation as well. Arminta is closed at Reseda for the next few hours due to this very large crime scene and the amount of police activity going on there. That is the very latest here from the desk. I'll send it back to you. All right, thanks so much. Driving in Southern California can be, well, you know, slow. KCAL traffic keeps you moving. With the where when and which way to go. Be prepared for now and what's next. Next traffic on KCAL News. CBS News Los Angeles. Your local news streaming wherever, whenever.